During the 1960s, one of the greatest NBA players of all time started playing college basketball, and that was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. As a 7'2 freshman for UCLA in 1966, Kareem averaged 29 points and 15.5 and rebounds per game, which are some pretty unbelievable numbers. Today, those numbers would put him at the top of both the points and rebounds per game list for college basketball. Kareem was dominating NCAA basketball, easily leading UCLA to a perfect 30-0 season and an NCAA championship. Kareem did dunk the ball occasionally, and because of his dunking and the outright dominance of his play, the NCAA decided to ban dunking before his sophomore season. The NCAA claimed to ban dunking because it wasn't a skillful shot, and it only helped people with height, which, as we know, is obviously not true. Although banning dunking was likely done to hurt players like Kareem, some people criticized the NCAA for doing so because they claimed that it hurt shorter players who dunk the ball in order to not be blocked by taller opponents such as Kareem. The rule didn't hurt Kareem at all, as Kareem adapted his play and famously started doing the hook shot, which arguably is a more unstoppable shot. Kareem was then just as dominant in his two next seasons for UCLA. In his sophomore year, Kareem averaged 26 points and 16 and a half rebounds per game. As he did in his freshman year, Kareem once again led his team to an NCAA title. In his junior season, which was Kareem's final year before entering the NBA draft, he averaged 24 points and 14 rebounds per game. UCLA once again won 29 games and only lost one on their way to winning a third straight NCAA championship. Although the no dunking rule was implemented after Kareem's freshman year at UCLA, some people believe that the rule was actually created for other motivations. In the 1966 National Championship game, which was a few months before Kareem started his NCAA college basketball career, an all-white University of Kentucky team was playing a Texas Western team that had an all-black starting lineup. Kentucky was ranked as the number one team in the country. However, Texas Western ended up winning the game. Texas Western was known for dunking, and a famous photo came from the upset of the national championship game where a Texas Western player dunked on a player from Kentucky who actually happened to be legendary NBA coach and Miami Heat president, Pat Riley. So what some people think is that since most of the best dunkers in college basketball were African American and Texas Western won the national championship game in 1966, and Kareem helped UCLA win the national championship a year later in 1967. Because of all that, the NCAA decided to ban dunking because of those racial motivations. Kareem also agreed that there was racial motivations behind banning dunking. As he said, To me, the new no dunk rule smacks a little of discrimination. When you look at it, most of the people who dunk are black athletes. And personally, I think Kareem makes a great point in that there was definitely a very major racial element to banning dunking. The NCAA eventually ended the ban on dunking in 1976, and college basketball went on its way with dunking, which I'm glad because basketball without dunking isn't nearly as fun. Do you think the NCAA banned dunking because Kareem was too dominant? Do you think they did it because of racial motivations? Let me know what you think in the comments section and remember to subscribe to the channel to show your support. Thanks for watching.